Hello and welcome to the podcast on taking screenshots on the Macintosh. Uh, nicely, Macintosh has a very simple tool built in. We go into Macintosh hard drives, uh, we go to applications, and then we search down for preview. PPP preview, preview right here. So preview, and I'll close this now. So we've got preview. Preview is the application that, uh, that was originally built to view PDFs on the Macintosh but it also has a whole series of screen capture capabilities and I like to keep preview in my dock all the time so I come down here on the preview icon and um, oh it's already in my dock uh, if I said remove from dock and then I would say keep in dock it was already there as soon as I start preview um, I always keep it in the dock I put all the things I need to use all the time in the dock and so <clears throat> let's take a screenshot um, I'll just sort of start a JEdit program um, and I'll say take me as a screenshot whatever doesn't matter just this is the window that I want to take a picture of this window right here so I go to preview and I say file this isn't in the most logical place you can either grab a rectangular selection in which you'll be allowed to draw with your cursor or a window, or the whole screen when timed. 90% uh, of the time, what you really want to do is take a window. You say, grab window. It, it tells you, oh, you know, you can grab, go over different windows. I can click here. I can click there. I can click there. And I just want to capture this window. So click. I go like that. Now, here's a little weird. This is now an image. Okay? And so you can't click on this stuff. Okay? That's that. Um, so what you need to do, I'm going to close the original real window now. This is my JEdit. I'm going to command Q to get rid of JEdit, and I do not want to save that file. So now I'm in preview. See, I'm in, in preview here. And so I've got this as an as image. Now the one thing it does is it always saves it to your desktop, which gets to be sort of painful as a, after a while. It gives them these long names called snapshot that has the date, and it stores it in this format called TIFF. So I prefer to switch it to a you know non apple format so i want to do a save as and i'm going to say this save this as a jpeg and i give it a, a better name called uh, first uh, image and it'll be a jpeg and i'm going to store it right on my desktop so now here we have first image okay and i can click on that and take a look at it um, i'll close this click on it interestingly it just comes back up in preview so that's pretty much it. This would be the file that you would upload if your job was to do this. I'll show you a couple other uh, tricks that uh, I like to make my images a little bit better. A preview has a simple tool for cropping. And the way you crop something is you say, you draw a, a rectangle here on the image, and then you say tools, crop. And now I've gotten rid of all the rest of that image accept that which I want and I'll say save this as um, it's a J and I want to save it as JPEG tiny I'll save it as tiny and so I now have two images I got that first image and I got this tiny image and there it is um, I'll use command W to quickly close it I really like uh, uh, I mean Apple W to quickly close it and so the one thing is is you just after a while these snapshots fill up on your desk and so just keep cleaning them off um, and if you were uploading to uh, to hand in a screenshot or whatever this would be the file that you upload so that's pretty much all uh, there is uh, use the uh, preview command to uh, take screenshots with the grab and typically it's grab window okay thanks